we are currently in a premiere in at Twin Bridges in Bracknell, it's called. Hi. Hi. Hello. You saying hi? Yeah. And we are here just for one night. We've literally just got here. It's like five o'clock. And we thought while we're here, we would show you around, show you what the room's like. And we've booked the kind of meal deal package. So we've got tea tonight here. This bed is so nice and soft. I'm just first. Oh, that. winning. <laughs> Um, and we've got the breakfast included as well in the morning. Now I can have this a very tall bed. Yep. You're right, you can't. Tough. So we thought while we're here, we'll show you what it's like because it's got a fairly mixed bag of reviews. There's been one star reviews, there's been three star reviews, five star reviews, the whole range. So I thought I'd show you what those were like show you what they say and then we'll go test them out for ourselves and i must admit so far it's definitely leaning towards the five star i'll show you around the room and i'll show you why so we are staying in room number two literally right outside the main entrance and if you spin around the entrance is a little bit dark because here but we've got kettle tea coffee sugar bits and all sorts of stuff on the massive wardrobe thing like there's not really a counter top for it normally you'd find that on the table but it's on here for now i guess um you got your blue and bingo car We've got space for clothes, towels, etc. in here, extra pillows up there, and then loads of storage here with a bunch of plugs. Um, as always, there's no plugs over by the edges of the bed. There's Rachel on the bed. Um, so plugs and phones have to go and charge over here. TV, not turned it on yet, but I assume it works. We'll test it out in a minute. And then you've got your bathroom through this door. you got some signal. Whee. In here, there's me. Hi, in the mirror. Bath looking alright. Now, oh, no, that's tucked into the door. Interesting. Huh? It's just the shower curtain tucked into the door handle. Mm. So that is our room. Now, the reason I said so far it's been very, very nice is because some of the reviews mentioned about the customer service, and I must admit, so far she has been absolutely lovely. She was chatting to Noah. Yeah, um, yeah she's called Karen. She was wonderful. Um, we asked to book tea in at six o'clock and then literally changed it within five minutes when back is actually going to change it. But like, yeah, yeah, no problem. So she's been absolutely amazing. So big tick so far. Um, as for the room, it's decent, like you just saw. It's a Premier Inn. It's not anything fantastic, but it's clean, it's neat, it's tidy. I wish Premier Inn did plugs. I'd say the more dated Premier Inns I've been to. Yeah, it's not a modern room, it's a standard room. And it's got Premier Inn bed, so. And it is comfy hours. And this spare bed, we always make the mistake when we book these and we say we've got two kids by accident because we ask, we say we've got a kid and we ask for a cot and they take that as two. So we've got a bed made up and a cot. Um, but this bed is comfy hours, it's so soft. Honestly, you should try this one. And I'll have the big one. Okay. You want to go have tea? Yeah. That sounds like we're going to go have tea. We are booked in in about five minutes. We're going to go get ready, go down for tea, and obviously we'll show you what the food is like. And, in fact, just before we do, I'll show you the charges because when you book in on the deal, you can pick what you want from the menu, but there is extra charges. So it costs £26 each for dinner and breakfast. Urgent bargain. Which, yeah, great value. Three, I think. Third course for three. It's a two course. You get to choose two courses from the main menu, a drink from below, and you get breakfast tomorrow morning. You can add a third course for £3. These are the drinks you get included, or you can upgrade to one of these drinks. And then if you book one of these dishes, you get an extra kind of charge on top. But most of them are only small. There's a £5 charge for the beef eater combo, whatever that is. But yeah, it's, there should be quite a lot of options apart from that. What do you want? Mm, you want another chippy? Oh, I haven't got any, Miss Rachel. We have woken up the next morning from a decent night's sleep. I think our, our room is literally right by reception. I think we got woken up once by some people coming through. Um, and it was like two o'clock in the morning, but that's just the room mommy. location. The bed was that. lovely and comfy. Did you give it to mummy? Yeah. Good boy. Um, and the only other reason we woke up was because our little one is still potty training. He's been waking himself up to go yeah. wheeze, which is fine. So that was a lovely night's sleep. And we're now gonna go and have breakfast. I'll take you with us to the restaurant and have a look at breakfast. Go on. No? No, I think he's absolutely nailing it. Well, yeah, I mean, he's literally like done, what, a three hour car journey. 
a day at a theme park and a night in a hotel all without any accidents. So he is absolutely smashing it. Are you moving all the drinks around? Yeah. He is, yes. Can you not reach that last one? So he is. That's how Rachel sees it. Yep. Thank you, darling. <laughs> so we're gonna take you with us to the restaurant again. Well we had tea last night and this time breakfast and we think it's gonna be one of the ones we have to You gave it to her, you gave it to mummy. Yeah. That's good. We think it's been one of those ones where you're gonna have to order, not Boo. like self service, which is sad because we, when we were there last night, we couldn't see anywhere where they're gonna do this whole like buffet bit. It's sad, but, but it's probably a good thing in it because you don't know what you're gonna order then. Yeah, and it is still. I, I think sometimes it's nicer as well, like you know, when it's been sat out for a while. Yeah. But I like just being able to go and do it myself too. Me too. So let's go see. Wait. Yeah. The, the last one we went to was really quick. It was literally yeah, like seconds. We're, we're only in there. We're yeah. some people in this morning. We're going at half past seven now, so we'll let you know how busy it is. We just finished tidying up. The room is looking nice and clean again, as we like to leave them. A couple of bits left to pick up. We're about to go and explore Windsor and Windsor Castle and everything before heading down to the south coast. But we're looking for some room ratings. Um, everyone was all right. It was very hot. Very hot. Yeah. Out of five, what would you give the room? I'd give it four. Four for the room. What about for the food? Tea last night and then breakfast this morning. Yeah. What you were you missing? Me. Boosh. <laughs> it is heavy. Uh, probably dinner last night, I'd say three and a half, four. The chicken yeah. started off really, really nice, but it was dry. Yeah. And I thought the rolling was a little bit rude at start. <laughs> yeah. And there you go. What about customer service generally? In the hotel, lovely. Brilliant. Um, breakfast this morning, lovely. And last night she warmed up. But yeah. Got to start. She was a bit just short. Yeah. So there you go. What would you give the hotel out of? Because there's been one star reviews, three star reviews, four. five. You go four stars. Just a bit outdated. Four star, four lovely, little bit dated. Let's go. That can be our Let's go explore Windsor. Are you